In this video, we're going to be talking about how to brute force FTP or SSH with Hydra. This is going to be something that you're going to use in the future if you're going to be a penetration tester or you're going to do any kind of certification. So Hydra is a really popular tool used for brute forcing. In the second half of this video, we are also going to be using Hydra to brute force login pages. Sometimes you're going to see people use Hydra to brute force login pages. So it's going to be really helpful for you to know how to use Hydra in order to brute force login pages so we're going to do that in the second half of this video but right now we are going to start with brute forcing ssh and ftp with hydra so let's go ahead and check this out so the first thing you're going to want to do is find some kind of username to actually start brute forcing for we're going to need a username so this box is really simple if you just click read more it, it tells you that you're going to use developer as your username but in the real world you're probably going to have to look for usernames and i've covered this a little bit on on this channel in the past um, what you would do let's just use hack the box as our examples i wanted to show you is actually how to find different usernames so on a page like this or any kind of penetration test you can come up and click like home or about or blogs and one thing you're going to want to do is scroll through and we'll go to the about because this is probably going to be the most helpful you can scroll through and look for people that work for the company and at the bottom of the page here we hit a list of people so what you would do with a list of users or potential users like this is often companies will use the first letter of the last name so this username would most likely be s driver or you would just use driver or you could just try sophie and so you'd have to go through and manually create the different users or potential users to try and brute force with but that is one way to try and find some username so I believe on this box if I'm remembering right it is F Smith is what they end up using and this is actually really helpful because in a real world scenario there are a lot of companies that will just use F Smith you see it all the time one thing that is really new and has just started happening is a lot of tech startups with young devs or junior devs. I've seen people start using their social media handles. So if you are working on a new tech startup, you can go out and check out their social media handles and throw those into your potential brute forcing usernames list. And another thing you would potentially do on something like this is this page actually has blogs. And so what you could do is you can come to these blogs and you can click on, click on them, look at the more info and see if there are different users right here. You would see you have James Doe, which I don't remember if he was one of our users. You have Johnson, Watson. And so you'd go through and look, there's a potential admin right here. You could try admin as a username. So what you would do when trying to brute force for a login is first make sure you're not gonna get locked out and you're not gonna get your IP banned. If you do, make sure you have a VPN and then just make a word list by coming through all over the page and picking out all of the different names that could possibly be used to log in. So let's go ahead and jump back to the box we're working on. I think that I need to make a disclaimer and say that you only do something like this against companies that you have been hired to test against or a CTF like this right here. So just throwing that out there. So what we'll do is we'll copy developer and we're going to try to brute force the password for the user developer. So we can come up to our terminal and we're just going to start real simply by typing in Hydra and we're actually going to use something that looks like this. I already typed in Hydra dash H so you could see this. The usage is going to be Hydra dash L. This is the username which we're going to have developer right here and we're going to have a capital P for our password list and we are going to FTP. No, we're not going to FTP. We're going to use SSH, but it's going to look just like this. So if you're going to do FTP and you're trying to brute force for the FTP password, you would do FTP and then the IP address and the same thing for SSH and you see like pop three down here. And this is how you would use it. So if you had a username and a password, you could do this. Or if you had a list of user names that you wanted to try and a list of potential passwords. So let's say we wanted to try all of the usernames or the potential usernames that we found on Hack the Box. We would put them into a file and we would put them into the file like this. And we'd use a capital L and then a capital P with a password list. And then it would try to brute force all of those users that we had put into this file. So for now, what we're going to do is we actually have the user and it is a developer and I have a password list, which is a capital P and it's passwords just like this. And then we're going to tell it we want to SSH slash slash and the IP address is 10 10 11 183. 
And if we go ahead and hit enter, it should run for us and find this password. But while this runs, I wanted to show you that our FTP is actually closed on this specific box. That's why we're not going to be trying FTP. We're only going to be doing SSH because it's open with port 80. So if we come back over here, it has finished and it gives us our password right here. So if we copy this password and we go ahead and try to SSH and it is developer at 10 10 11 183 we can hit enter and it's going to tell us to enter the password we can paste what we copied in right there and we we're able to ssh into the box so that is how hydro works with ssh and ftp let's go ahead and check out how we would brute force for a login or a login page to get a password with hydro so i'm going to go ahead and switch over to the box apocalypse so if you want to follow along, you can do that as well. Okay, I have gone ahead and opened up the box Apocalypse. If you do want to follow along and you have a Hack the Box subscription, you can go ahead and launch the box. But in order to get to this page, I'm just going to tell you, you will need to sudo gedit your Etsy host and add it in here. So I have it right here is the IP address and the apocalypse.htb that you can save and go ahead and close that and we can clear our terminal. So back over here, because we are looking to log in, we are gonna need a username to brute force. So one of the things we can do is we got our post right here and we can look um, a username somewhere. So we have what is the apocalypse and we can scroll down and see if we can find a username. So we'll go ahead and scroll up and see if we can click on one of these blogs. How long do we have? And right here we have a user. So what we'll do is we'll try to use this user and we could click on these other blogs to see if they're all written by the same person and they are. So what we would do is save this name right here. I'm just going to copy it so that way I have the name. So we would go to log in because we're trying to brute force. Because we're going to be using Hydra just to save some time, you could just type in user and pass like this we're going to need to intercept the request so we'll type in or we'll go to proxy and click that we can hit login we can send this over to repeater so we have this right here we're going to turn the interceptor off um, so we can come over to our terminal and we'll type out our hydra command because we have a username now we can just give it a password list and see if we can brute force or guess what this password is for this user to log into the wordpress so what we can do is just type in hydra and we're not going to be doing developer again we're going to be using this username right here we can go dash p for our password list just like this and then i believe we need apocalypse.htb you'll see that what we're making in repeater over here is an http post request so we're going to say that it is a post form so we can say http post form and now we're actually going to give it the form that we need so we'll come back over to burp you can copy this to make sure there are no typos and this actually needs to be in quotes paste and then you will need a semicolon here for the syntax we will copy this entire thing right here so that way it has the parameters that need to be sent to the server so we can copy this and we can paste this in right here. We'll put another semicolon and we'll try this with like an error and see what happens. Or maybe we'll just say error just like this because we had the error pop up right here. Or we could just put um, invalid. Maybe we could try that. We'll try the error and see what happens. And we can close this off and we should be able to run this. And we forgot to put in our carrot. So where your user is, this is why I had you enter in user the way I did so you didn't have to retype this. You have to have user with all caps and pass right here with all caps. So let's move this. We want it to say pass. So we can go like this and put our carrot in and then come back over and put the carrots in here. And the reason we're putting these carrots in here is it's telling it this is what we are going to change. Even though we have our user over here, you still have to put this user with the carrot. So we should be able to run this. And if this is going to work, it should work for us pretty quick. If not, we'll change this error to something like is incorrect and it should then work for us. So it looks like it's taking it a little bit. We'll go ahead and close out of that and we'll type in is in correct and if this doesn't work 
um, I'm going to probably have a typo and I'm going to have to troubleshoot it and I'll let you know where it was at. And it turns out that was right. It did work. It just took a little while. So here is the password and we should be able to log in, which now has me curious. Maybe I just didn't wait long enough. I'll let this run and see if this works with error. So what we can do is we could just copy. Dang it. I accidentally closed out of that. What we can do is come back up here and we can copy this password. We should be able to paste this in right here. And I don't remember how to spell this guy's name. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and we should be able to log into WordPress. So that is how we would go about brute forcing with Hydra if we were going to be doing something on a web application. And from my previous video, you can probably see that it's a lot easier to just do brute forcing on web applications with something like Zap Proxy or Burp. It just is a lot easier to upload the passwords and then go ahead and run it than typing out this syntax right here and just hoping that you get it right. But Hydra is a really powerful tool if you're gonna be using something like FTP or SSH. So if you have any questions, you can please let me know down in the comments and I will try to get to those. Thanks for watching.